Everything is energy, everything is vibration, and everything is frequency. And, you know, we are consciousness, and we get our mind from our divine creator. And our, this flesh, um, this flesh can't do nothing of itself. It's our creator. It's that source. It's that all that guides, um, that's, that guides, um, the movement and thinking of this body. And, um, so there's, if we read the Christ letters, Christ tell us there's impulses coming at us daily, uh, all the time leading us and guiding us and directing us and even christ himself says when we pray he comes but because our our beliefs are so distorted that we can't even hear him and how are we going to correct that how are we going to hear these impulses that that our father sends sends out to us on a daily basis all the time leading us and guiding us and to our self to our our mind some of them we probably think they're minor some of them they doesn't even make sense but we have to come to a place right now that um that we be obedient to these things that comes in our mind because it's the impulses our father sending out us and some things just send your impulse and they just imprint it in your mind it could be as simple as get up and and call your mother to as great as yes you need to go on that trip with your friend or yes you need to take that job in california it's it, it's so when the bible talk about how rebellious we are it's talking about it mentally we're not listening to the guiding of the holy spirit and we know consciousness is spirit we're not listening and guiding to the guidance of our father and what i come to understand let me tell you and if you don't believe this try it in your daily lives those simple thoughts those simple impulses when you follow them if you wake up this morning and it could be oh make an egg for breakfast for one day just follow those imprinted thoughts in your minds follow them and see at the end of the day oh filled you feel without even knowing just follow them you feel filled you feel um this energy that you that pass it all understanding at the end of the day because it's like we're rewarded somehow in my mind it's like oh my gosh the, the our our father be like oh my gosh she they heard me she heard me this time you are rewarded for every every um obedience when the bible says obedience is better than sacrifice we don't understand the depth of what this is saying we don't understand the depths of what you're saying and a lot of time being obedient we have to get out of our comfort zone we have to there's people popping up and popping up uh thoughts popping up in our minds and we know we have to do it we know we put it off things coming up you gotta go somewhere and this is how our father is going to be created our father's um communicating with us this if you want revel if we want revelation if we want to know what's the next step step if we want to be blessed we have to be obedient if we want to be healed we have to be obedient obedience is better than sacrifice so if you hear me this morning and you wake up whatever that thought in your mind don't look listen don't look outside for no help look inside for the help the help the returning of christ is inside is in your mind is in your thought if you're looking for christ coming christ is coming inside and we have to be able to hear him when he speaks and direct our path so we don't get caught up in what's coming next on this earth so learn to be obedient learn to recognize the voice 
of our Father, learn to recognize that Christ Spirit within us. If you hear this message this morning, the thoughts that are coming into your mind, sometimes you will recognize, I know peep, someone's going to say the enemy is going to put thoughts in your mind. But listen, who is the enemy? But yourself, the, that ego that needs to be subjected. You will know the difference between your ego and the difference between that God spirit within you. So let that ego, so to, in order to defeat that ego, you have to continue to, to hear the spirit, hear and recognize the spirit and be obedient to it. I know I, um, we, we said, oh, I knew it. It came into my thought. It came into my mind. I know we have to follow these thoughts. We have to do, follow these commands. I, I prove it. And when you be obedient, let me say, what did, what did the scripture say? If you can be faithful over a few things, I will make you ruler over many. Because this is how you determine that you're ready to be blessed, that you're ready to be filled up, that God is ready to come into your life and provide more than even what you can ask or think. And that's where, God, we have to be. Too much lack, too much... Um, too much lack in every form, financially, um, physically, emotionally, it's too much. We have to um, listen to the voice of our Father so we can um, be healed, so we can be delivered. And don't think you know how it's going to happen. When you start listening to the voice of the Father, oh my gosh, listen to that voice. It's something's going to be impossible. Something's going to uh, let you have to... Uh, be bold. Something's just going to be simple as making chicken for dinner. I'm wearing red to work today. I'm wearing green to work today. But it's a sign of your obedience. Follow. I'm telling you, if you hear this today, God is speaking to you. Follow the leading of your spirit. These impulses that is set, electromagnetic, electromagnetic impulses come to us on a daily basis. And because remember, we're not this body. The real true, our true self, our real true self is all energy, is all consciousness vibrating at a certain frequency. So remember, these impulses are coming just to lead us, just to guide us. And the most important thing is for us to get back to who we truly are. And who we truly are, Christ consciousness. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful day.